on Monday, President-elect Joe Biden announced the formation of his COVID-19 advisory board. It's a group of 13 doctors and public health experts to help coordinate his pandemic response. And one of those board members is Dr. Celine Gounder, clinical assistant professor at the NYU Grossman School of Medicine. She's also an epidemiologist and an infectious diseases specialist. Dr. Gounder, good morning to you. Thanks for your time this morning. Good morning, Craig. Good morning, Craig. Uh, the United States, as you know, set yet another record on Wednesday, more than 144,000 new cases. 46 states now have cases on the rise. What would you say is the biggest challenge that President-elect Joe Biden is going to face as he tries to stop this virus? Craig, I think the biggest challenge is the fact that the virus has been politicized. And so the science is actually pretty clear. We know what we need to do to prevent transmission of the virus. That includes wearing masks, social distancing, so staying six feet apart, uh, not having indoor gatherings like was discussed earlier. Uh, and trying to do as much as possible outdoors, or if you're going to be indoors, using good ventilation, having windows and doors open. We know what we need to do. The challenge is that the message has been so politicized that trying to get people to do these things, which are really just basic public health measures, that's going to be the challenge here. With, with all due respect, though, just because we have a new president doesn't mean that it's going to be any less politicized. I mean, there, there are still, as you know, a significant swath of folks in this country who don't buy it, who don't see the importance in wearing the masks or maintaining a social distance. A lot of folks still say it's a hoax. I mean, how, how do you overcome that? Well, I, I think sadly people are going to realize very soon that this is not a hoax for those who have not been touched personally by the coronavirus. They will soon be touched by this, sadly. Uh, and I think, frankly, this idea of masks being a political symbol, that would be like saying toilet paper. Using toilet paper is a political symbol. Uh, and so I think, sadly, we, you know, we, we really do need to double down our efforts on getting people to mask up, to socially distance. Uh, to get tested, to collaborate with contact tracers, because if we don't, and we don't do that now, the coming weeks ahead are really going to be quite grim for all of us. Would you advise President-elect Biden to impose a national mask mandate? I think, unfortunately, we may be there. Um, I, I think, ideally, you would be having Americans take personal responsibility for their own health, the health of their families and the health of their communities. Unfortunately, that has not been the case uh, nationwide until this point. That said, uh, Americans are doing a better and better job of masking. About 70 plus percent of Americans are masking at least part of the time. Uh, and so things are moving in the right direction, just perhaps not fast enough. Are, are we headed for another nationwide shutdown? You know, I don't like the expressions lockdown or shutdown because they imply that this is an on or off switch, a binary decision. And really, I think we need to be thinking in terms of a dimmer switch or, or a dial that we dial up and down. Um, I, I think we do need to be talking about tightening up some of these measures, uh, putting a pause on indoor dining, going to bars, indoor gyms, and really trying to be creative about how we can still do some of those things, but perhaps outdoors uh, in the meantime. All right, uh, Dr. Dr. Celine Gounder, just uh, really quickly to that mask mandate point, Dr. Gounder, how, how, would, how would that be enforced? Well, and I, I think that's a great point, is that, you know, how would you enforce it? I think a lot of this could end up falling to business owners, for example, or, you know, people working in, in the settings where uh, clients and, and customers are visiting. And that, that puts a lot of the onus on them. I think it's frankly unfair. And so I think what we really need to be pushing for is behavioral change, uh, getting people to buy into the need for this, feeling comfortable with this, not feeling stigmatized in their community for wearing a mask. And, and so that's really a um, social marketing campaign that we need here. All right, uh, Dr. Celine Gounder. Dr. Gounder, thank you. Congratulations on the new appointment as well. Um, do appreciate you being with us this morning. My pleasure.